just watched the great game of football between Brentford and Brighton. Two teams going at it, playing open, expansive football, having a go at each other, not turning up for a nil-nil, actually trying to win the game when you go behind, still trying to win the game. <laughs> okay, it didn't go your way tonight, Brian, but you've got to take, you know, you've got to be happy. I'd rather my team have a go. Have a go 100%. Right? There's nothing, I'm at the moment, being a Blackburn Rovers fan, I'm sorry to bring it back to there for this, for this point, I'm getting fed up at the moment when I'm watching them, especially in away games, not having a go against poor teams. No disrespect, Wigan. I know you won in the mid- midweek, but we were rubbish. We were absolutely terrible. We didn't have a go. I'd rather my team have a go and get beat than turn up to try and nick something and get beat. What's the point in that? What do you to play football? The aim of the game is to put the ball in the back of the net at the other end. So go and try and do it. Brighton did that tonight. Thoroughly entertaining. Whenever I see Brighton's name um, on, a, on a fixture that's going to be featured on the TV or on the radio, I'm going to pay attention to it because they play open expensive football. Bright, uh, Brentford now above Liverpool. Who'd have, who'd have thought that? This uh, uh, 10 games into the season. Fantastic for them. Played some good stuff. And they've got a guy up front, right? And I'm, this, this is Mr. Southgate. If you are listening to the show, I know you've maybe got better things to be doing on a Friday evening, but if you are choosing to spend your time wiser this evening and listen to the most informed radio show on the, on the radio right Correct. now. Correct. There is no better backup from an English striker point of view right now. And you've got to pick guys that are on form. You have to pick them on form. You can't just keep going to favourites because that's not going to work this time around, trust me. Pick guys that are on form. That's what you said when you came into this job. You said that you were not going to pick favourites. You were going to pick guys that are on form. There is no better striker that is on form right now. And fair enough, we all appreciate that it will be the backup to Harry Kane. But there's no better guy than Ivan Tony. I know that you've got your favourites. I know that you've used them in the past. I know that you've got your trusted go-tos. Trust me, right? <laughs> the whole nation knows who the in-form striker is in Ivan Tony, He has to be a major part of your World Cup plans. I don't care that he's not played. I don't care that you've not used him in these back in these warm-up games that you had a couple of moments ago with the Nations League. That lad is on fire right now and it would be absolutely daft not to take him to the World Cup. He's got to take him. He's got to take him. Who else is he going to take? You look at the numbers of off-trackers. Go. Rashford's got, was it three goals this season? Maybe yeah. four? Well, let's be honest. Rashford is playing better than he was yeah. last season. I mean, it's not hard to not play better than he was last season, but he is playing better than he was last season. But let's go on goals. No, yeah, I haven't way down. Double, double what he's got. Well, look, look, right. Tony's got eight goals in 10 games. I'll, I'll just go off league games, yeah. right? So he's got eight goals in 10 games. Eight is the same number as Harry Kane. Yeah. So listen, that's the benchmark for English strikers. We'll just take Erling Haaland out of this for a second because he's an absolute... <laughs> it's not about 16. Yeah, he's about crackpot. <laughs> uh, but Kane, obviously, he's got 18-9, I think he's got. You've got Tony there, 18-10 with his goals uh, this evening. Tammy Abraham's over at uh, AS Roma. Last season, okay, you can look at it and go, what did he get? 17 and 37 games. Is that a major return for a for a, a goal getter? It's okay. It's not brilliant, mm. but it's okay. This season, he's got two in nine. He's not in good nick. Now, I love Tammy Abraham. I think he's, he, he, he offers something else. He most certainly does. But he's not in good nick. Ivan Tony is in good nick. Rashford, you just mentioned there, he's got three goals this season. Injured, in and out. Same with Callum Wilson. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, all these guys. They're in and out of the team because they're injured at the moment. You can't be just going, all right, he's fit now, let's take him, mm. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, because he had a great season two seasons ago. That's that, that's not how this is supposed to work. You're supposed to peak coming up to the tournament. The tournament is, what, four or five weeks away from us all jetting off and hopefully enjoying a fantastic tournament. The guy that's on fire right now is Ivan Tony. He has to be on that plane. You have to look at stats as well. You've got to look at st- stats and, and, and numbers and fig- figures. You can't just, like you said, you can't go, oh, yeah, you had a great season two seasons ago. I like you, you know, you, I can trust you. No, you can't do that. It's all about who's hot and who's not and, and figures and, and who's scoring because the World Cup's like months away. You can't, you, you need someone in form going into the World Cup. Because they carry that momentum. Of course, they carry that. That's why you. That's why it's what, oh, I pick informed players. Well, let's, let's say this. Heaven forbid, right? We know that Harry Kane's the number one striker. But let's say, well, he, he's always, you know, doing his numbers though. Yeah, he's never it, not doing numbers. Not, so I'm that's not, yeah, mate. He's the yeah. number one pick. I'm not nobody's doubting Rightly that. Rightly so. But what about if he pulls up with an injury? What about if he, you know, gets hurt and he can't continue? We don't want to be playing an injured Harry Kane as we have done in the past in these tournaments. And we let's say, oh. We trust Dominic Calvert-Lewin. He's just come. He's just come back into Everton team. Mm. He's had three games. We trust that Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Take him. He's not scored a goal yet, mm. and, we're, and we and we throw him in to that situation. He's not up to speed. He's not up to match fitness. This kid's fearless. Look at him tonight. Great first goal. Doesn't miss penalties. Yeah, I've given him kiss of death there, but I'll touch wood. Touch wood. You know, I mean, there's going to be a 
chance in this tournament that we're going to have to play, uh, do something with penalties in this tournament, isn't there? Yeah. This guy knows how to take them. Mate, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, it's a no-brainer. He's, he's got to be on his mind at least minimum. And I think he's got to be in, he's got to be in the squad. He's, he's got to be in the squad. He's got to take him on that plane to the World Cup. And if he doesn't, then I think he's in the wrong job. 03717 double two double three double four. I know that there's some Brentford fans pouring out the ground tonight I know that you're in love with Ivan so you're probably thinking to yourself don't take him to the World Cup we'd like him to rest over Christmas time you know what I mean so he can come back in January and do the business for us come on let's take a selfish hat off, off out of it <laughs> Tony should be in that England team he should be going well in that England squad go into that World Cup in my opinion and I'm sure that you share that if you do do get in contact if you don't do get in contact if there's a better option all three seven one seven double two double three double four. 